Hi, my name is Emma and I make two new videos every single week about horror movies and I'm about to start 31 Days of Horror so if you're here and you love horror content please subscribe. But today I'm not here for 31 Days of Horror, today we're going to do another stat video, I'm sure you can see the title. I've done two other stat videos before, the best horror movie ever made and the scariest horror movie ever made. If you do want to see those stat videos I'm going to link them down in the bio so go check them out because it was interesting. I promise you this is going to be the most helpful stat video thus far because there is some movies on here that I haven't even seen that made it into top 10s. So you're going to get a lot of information out of this and I'm actually going to include some of the movies that didn't make it to the top 10 um, but I'm just going to give you a quick list of horror movies that other people have been recommending to me, um, a lot of people. So please go grab a pad and a pen because at the end of this you're going to have some kick-ass recommendations. So this time I did a little bit differently. I felt like because it wasn't anonymous before people got Going through and seeing what other people are recommending and not that I feel like you are very influenced by that I feel like it just reminded you of different films so it might not have been your first reaction so this time I made a survey form so you guys could answer anonymously I linked this on my Facebook my YouTube and my Twitter so you guys could go and answer the question and I had 386 entries so that's a big pull. And then what I always do for these videos is I take all your opinions but I think it's really interesting to take the opinions from articles online and find out what they think is the top, has to be ranked the top 10 best foreign horror movies are. I found it was really hard to find people because they just want to kind of suggest these are some kick-ass horror movies. They don't really want to rank them. So I didn't find as many as I usually did but I will link them all below so you can go check out the list for yourself. Last thing I want to mention before I get into this, this is foreign horror movies and I defined that and this might annoy some people I define that as anything outside of the US. I did this for a number of reasons sometimes because if we say foreign language horror movies or foreign language film you're discounting a lot of films that have strange overlaps and also like New Zealand films which I think should be counted as foreign horror films I really do think and uh, films like Suspiria which are like half dubbed and have a weird situation is that foreign language we don't know because it's kind of dubbed but it's Italian. And then you also have crossover films that are like French Canadian and because it's in Canada, but it's French, it's confusing. So I've just made it any country outside the US, which I know is a little bit annoying, but trust me, with the results, it wasn't a problem. Okay, guys, now we're getting to the good stuff. I'm gonna go through both lists and then the combined list. So I want you guys to guess down below what you think is the best foreign horror film of all time and see if you got it right. I think a lot of you guys will get this right. <laughs> there was a lot of votes. So let's start with what we are told by articles are the best foreign horror films of all time. Let's see what they think. Number 10 is Tale of Two Sisters, a South Korean film. I am not surprised this is in there. A lot of people really love this film. I do feel like it's a little bit different to other South Korean films, especially you know newer South Korean films, um, because it's not really a journey film that's about characters. And I feel like a lot of South Korean films really tug on the heartstrings. They know how to make characters and write them really well and have them really well developed where this one's very eerie and kind of twisty if you haven't seen it I'm not gonna reveal what happens but I would highly recommend checking it out inside I love this film it's a French film that is extreme it's got a lot of blood it's a pregnant lady with a lady in her house trying to cut her baby out of her it is an extreme movie and you see blood guts all over the place I'm not surprised that that is in here either, but I'm kind of surprised how high up it is. I feel like it should have been lower to the bottom, but there's so many good films out there. The Host, yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is a South Korean film that, again, like I said before, is more of a journey film. If you've gotten into the newer South Korean horror films and you haven't seen this movie, you're doing it wrong because this is a journey and it's beautiful. It's one of those horror movies that have like a fantasy adventure element in it and highly recommend. Wreck, which I'm, I'm just going to call it Wreck for the sake of this. I think this is an amazing film. Obviously there was an American remake afterwards called Quarantine, but this is a Spanish film that I think is so clever because it takes place in one apartment block. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but I don't really like a lot of zombie films. This one, it just does everything right. I am very surprised that Train to Busan has come in at six and I think this is because we're looking at the article result. I haven't looked at the ordered results for what you guys voted for, but I think that Train to Busan will be up higher because I know a lot of horror lovers who love that film and I'm very surprised it's so low on this, but it really could show that the articles are a little bit older. Um, Obviously everyone knows about Train to Busan and I've just talked about good zombie films and not liking many zombie films, but again, amazing zombie film and it has that aspect of adventure, not fantasy, but adventure journey 
with a family. It's another South Korean gem, what can I say? This film has soul and this is a film that never left me because it is so haunting. If you have not seen The Orphanage, it is a Spanish gem and it's one of those films I want you to go in completely blind. If you've never seen this film, you need to watch it right now and you will not be sorry. You probably will be a little bit mad at me because it's heartbreaking, but you will love it. Pulse from Japan gets number four, which is quite interesting. It's also interesting that we haven't seen a Japanese film up until this point. Um, we'll get there though. <laughs> um, but what is interesting is so far, this is the earliest film. All of these films are from the 2000s, which is very odd now I'm thinking about it. Every film, oh no, there's one that just slides, you'll see. But um, very interesting uh, that like the post 2000s, you know, Japanese kind of movement. I thought it was very interesting that this film particularly is um, at number four because I wouldn't put it there. I don't know if you guys would. The next film is The Grudge, obviously the original Japanese version. I'm not surprised by this at all. Um, I am surprised by something else that we'll talk about when we get to the end of this list. But um, The Grudge is definitely a classic for a lot of people. Uh, number two, this is the film that is from the 90s, the only film from the 90s in this list. The Audition, or Audition, the Japanese film. I would even put this film in the line of disturbing extreme horror. Um, I think it is beautiful and intense and just sickly. When you rewatch it, you're like, well, this actress, she just blows your mind if you haven't seen it. Um, again, one of those films you have to go on completely blind because it will just, uh, it's, it's creepy. And compared to the others on this top 10 list, I think this one is the most extreme. Or maybe this one and Inside. <laughs> which leads me to number one, which is very surprising. I thought it was gonna be Ringu. Did you think it was gonna be Ringu? It's not Ringu. Because that's what is so weird. How is Ringu not on this list? I don't know how they would put Pulse before Ringu. Like just in my brain, that doesn't make sense. But number one, is Let the Right One In, which is a Swedish film based on a book uh, and it's a vampire film. I, I really obviously love this film, it's beautiful um, and it's, it's such a beautiful story and it's so different to anything else, which is why we love foreign horror because we're so used to sticking to these certain structures and foreign horror just takes that and throws that all out the window and, and I think that's exactly what you need in horror to kind of catch you off guard and give those really intense moments that you have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, I love this film, I think it's beautiful and I, I think everyone's seen it. There's obviously the American remake where there's a lot of remakes on this list uh, for Let Me In, uh, not done nearly as well in my opinion. So for here, I do wanna say quickly that Japan got the most amount of films that were mentioned um, and with 327 from all of those lists combined. Spain got second, South Korea got third and Sweden got fourth. Obviously Sweden got fourth because everyone was recommending the same film. But let's get into the good stuff, guys. Let's talk about the films that you, you guys, if you voted, this is what happened to the list. It's actually a little bit different. It is different um, in a good way. It's very extreme. But I think that that's because my viewers, you guys, we, we feel the same about extreme films, you know? So in that way, this isn't every single horror fans, you know, pick, but it's our type of horror. Um, so number 10, is insane because this is a film I actually haven't seen. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't seen this film um, and I'm dying to put it on my list. This is De Monte Colony. I hope I said that right, from 2015. It says that this film is actually an Indian horror film, but I believe the word De Monte <laughs> is Italian. So that is very interesting. I do not know anything about this film. Um, it says that, that four friends have no idea what awaits them when they enter a house. <laughs> what is this film? It's insane. I had 10 people vote for this, which doesn't seem a lot with, you know, 300, but a lot of you guys just voted for films no one else voted for. Um, but wow, I have no idea what this film is and I'm ready to find out. Number nine is a film that's quite extreme. Um, and yeah, one of those South Korean ones that are a little bit different. This is I Saw the Devil from 2010. Again, it is a journey film, uh, but it's not really for the lighthearted. It's not like an adventure by any means. Definitely a... I don't want to say beautiful, but a um, it's not touching either. What do you call it? An interesting? No, it's, it's I don't know, it really affects you. It's a story about revenge, um, served cold, and it is a beautiful. Um, I would, see, I called it beautiful again. I would totally recommend that. After that is The Wailing, which is another South Korean film. Again, another journey film. This one, very, oh man. <laughs> Your soul just crushes and highly, highly recommend. I'm so glad that you guys put this on the list. Number seven is Audition. 
again, very surprised that everyone loves Audition so much. I did not know that. I think it's a great film, but I wouldn't put it in my top 10, would I? Maybe not. I don't know. I need to make a top 10, don't I? And then surprisingly in sixth place, and this really shows what kind of audience I have, is Raw, which is a French film that is amazing. It actually only just came out in 2016. I'm pretty sure I have a review on it. Uh, it is one of those films you need to go on blind, but uh, the, the, cover, the poster says it all, like the poster does say it all. And it's such an interesting windy journey. And if you haven't seen Raw yet, go see it because it will blow your mind. It's a little bit gruesome, but in the best way. The next two films are in a tie. So this is four and five, which is Suspiria and Train to Busan. Totally different films. Train to Busan, happy with that placement. I might put a little bit lower on the list. So like down at seven or eight on my personal list, but I can totally understand why it's there. I see a lot of people talk about how much they love it. I prefer like The Wailing or Thirst, which was not mentioned at all. I love that movie, um, which is another South Korean horror movie above that. Um, these are the films that have the same kind of feel of like the journey, you know. Um, Suspiria, thank you for mentioning Suspiria. I would have died if no one mentioned Suspiria. Suspiria definitely deserves this position or somewhere around that because of how much influence it had over horror. Um, it's the giallo film that everyone loves and oh my God, those colors. The, but the soundtrack by Goblin is what really gets me. I just love Suspiria. Number three is Wreck, which obviously is a lot higher than it was on the last list. So I think that's really interesting. Um, obviously you guys are very into your zombie films, <laughs> but obviously it's a, it's a Spanish masterpiece and I respect its place. Number two is Let the Right One In, which is really interesting when you compare that to the article top 10, how similar. I didn't think that we would be so similar to like the same movies as these articles. Some of those articles were written by, you know, film critics and horror lovers. So it kind of makes sense, but um, still very surprising that it's so similar. But number one is a film that was not in the past top 10 and I'm sure you guys are screaming its name. Martyrs. I put Martyrs down as a France and Canada film, a joint venture because uh, it is directed by a French man, but um, they shot it in Canada and some of the crew was Canadian and it's it's very confusing what, you know, it's obviously in French as well. Um, so it is really a joint, a joint contribution. So I did put that down as from France and Canada. 58 of you guys voted for that and I am not surprised at all. Martyrs is in my top 10 films of all time probably. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys feel the same. <laughs> so this is where I combine both lists and find the overwhelming winner. Um, but it's quite similar to the last list with a couple of changes. So we're gonna go through this one quite quickly. Number 10 is De Monte Colony. Again, I have not seen this film. I really need to get onto it. Number nine is I Saw the Devil, interesting. Number eight is The Wailing. I love that The Wailing made this list. That makes me so happy. Number seven is Audition. Again, you guys love the disturbing stuff. I Saw the Devil, Audition, so disturbing. Roy is number six. Suspiria is number five. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so happy it got in there because that is the only film from the 70s. Audition is from 1999, but Suspiria is the only film from the 70s or any film before 1999. So that is really interesting that there is nothing from the 80s, nothing from the 60s. Very interesting because I've seen a lot of older foreign horror films and I find that super weird. Let me know down below what you think is going on there. Um, and then we have at number four, Train to Busan, um, which I'm not surprised by. And number three is Wreck. Number two is Let the Right One In. And number one, once again, is Martyrs, which really does reflect our community here in Spooky Astronauts. We love the disturbing stuff. We love disturbing horror. And I think a lot of these films really do fit into that category. But before you go, you may not have touched your pad and paper yet. So I do want to give you a few recommendations that I've seen and that you guys also recommended. So I do want to pass those recommendations along. If you've not seen House from 1977, it is a hoot. It is an experimental Japanese thrill ride. And I highly recommend it if you're into spooky, kooky stuff, you'll absolutely love it. Another film I highly recommend that is so creepy and oh, I, I'm gonna have to do a review on it one day because I just need to talk about this film. Um, it is Norai, I believe that's how I pronounce it, Norai the Curse, it's a Japanese film that is found footage. So if you don't like found footage, you might not like it. But if you're into the idea of a film, letting that overtake the production value, 
you'll love this film. The idea behind it is really clever. Some people I know still haven't seen Eden Lake, which is a UK film that is, again, another extreme film, so you guys would probably like it, about a couple that are terrorized. Um, and I don't want to say too much, going completely blind, but it is a really hard watch but it's really worth it. Another film that I would highly recommend to you guys, and you might have, if you've been watching for a while, seen me talk about this film a long time ago, is The Skin I Live In. This is a Spanish film from 2011. It's written down as a drama thriller, but it is disturbing, like beyond disturbing. And again, I'm sorry to say this, but you really do have to go on blind. And for most of the disturbing films, you have to, because you need to not know about the craziness, because that's what makes the films fun. But this film is really weird. It's about this plastic surgeon who's battling with some demons, you know? Go check it out. The last film I'm gonna to recommend to you today is Troll Hunter, and this is a Norwegian film from 2010. Uh, this is about three film students who are making a documentary about poachers, and then they find out about mythical trolls. I can't explain how fantasy, beautiful, but also like, kind of scary this film is. It's done really well. It's also a found footage film, so um, obviously if they're documentary makers, uh, but it kind of has a little bit of crossover. I would highly recommend it. Obviously as well, Norway is such a stunning country, so the landscapes are beautiful. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that this was interesting. What do you guys think about the top 10? Did you guess right? I'm sure a lot of you guys guess martyrs. I know a lot of you guys guess martyrs. Um, but I do think it's really interesting that we didn't have a lot of films from before 2000s, especially because Nostrofatu is like one of my favorite films and I'm surprised that's not in there at all. Very interesting. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky. Bye. Sorry, my dog just decided to stand up. <laughs> Good boy. Do you guys know when I film these, Gromit is always sitting behind me? You probably never knew that. Okay.